I think women are almost the linchpin for any um, peace building in society. Women nurture families, they create cultures for their children. The next generation of leaders will be shaped by women. For women, for Women International, there is an opportunity there to really ensure that there's a dialogue about women, not just in the communities we work in, but as builders of peace, as makers of peace, and as key people who can engage and help transform the global perception of women's role. I'm really excited about joining Women for Women International. Their mission, their mandate, what they do for women has created a huge change in many of the most difficult places to work. I've spent the last 25 years of my career also working in some of these places. And I know that if you work closely with women to empower them, to give them the dignity of choice in their lives, it not only affects them, it affects their children, the communities they live in, and has the potential to really transform society. I've worked for UNICEF for um, almost 25 years. I've spent half of my time um, in countries at the, at the field level, um, working in, from Mozambique to Kenya to DRC to Jamaica and Colombia. I've also worked in the policy realm. And I think there's an opportunity to bring those skill sets of having the 30,000 foot view where you influence and shape policy agendas and strategic direction, but also the on the ground experience where you can listen, learn from the communities you work with on how best to serve them, understand their dreams and their goals, and make sure that the commitments that we make at the country level are really what people need to change their lives. I think Women for Women International has an incredible mission. Their staff have done an incredible job, not just in informing people who the organization is, but more importantly, what the organization does. And I want to focus in the next five years a lot more on what the organization does. How do we grow that to meet some of the commitments that Women for Women International has started to make in countries like Rwanda, DRC, Afghanistan, Bosnia, Nigeria, and then take those further um, to make sure that we're reaching people at a scale that's commensurate with need. I was really impressed to see how many supporters Women for Women International had. It's a huge opportunity for them um, to see and understand a different part of the world. And I think that connection between women and between people um, is something so profound um, that the organization Women for Women International, is so, it's something they need to capture, nurture, and build on. Zenab has had an incredible vision. I mean, to found this organization from scratch, to create a movement of women across the globe that helps support and transform that change has been an incredible gift. So I was born in India, I, in Hyderabad, um, and then my parents immigrated to England when I was quite young, so I spent my first seven years in England. I then moved, we, the family, we moved to Canada. I grew up in Montreal. I have a husband who works in the area of um, international justice and, and peace as well, and for that we're, you know, a committed couple, I think, in helping change and transform agendas in many of the societies that have been gripped by war and violence. So it's a big part of our everyday dinner conversation. <laughs> I have all of the interests that lots of other women do. I like pretty things. It doesn't matter where you are, if you're in Bukavu or in Goma. I remember talking to a woman who said to me once, these bed nets, they are so white. Can't you make them another color? <laughs> What Women for Women International does is really bring those women together, um, but also equally treat the woman as a whole, as an integrated person with dreams and aspirations, where all of her health care, her standing in the community, have to be dealt with in an in integrated way. And that integrated approach to dealing with women that Women for Women International takes 
is really something that I think is distinctly different. Um, it's a niche that treats women in their own right to give them the dignity and support they need to transform their lives.